walking through the woods with a trash bag. Nothing to see here. It does look kind of suspicious though. <laughs> This intro was interrupted by weather and rain. Um, we'll pick this back up on another day. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's try this again. It's a different day, but I am back out here again. Got caught up in some rain the other day. I didn't feel like sitting out in the woods trying to do this uh, dehydrated meal that I want to try. And, um, we're also at the end of this video, stick around for that. For all who entered, I'm also going to be uh, revealing the winner of the giveaway that uh, should have already been done at this point, <laughs> but it is what it is. So I'll see you when we get up there, guys. <laughs> All right, well, welcome back. We're all set up. And uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to come out here, it's just a favorite local spot that I like to come to. As you can tell, I'm like, the bugs are out. I haven't put any bug spray on yet. So it looks like I'm gonna have to do that. I'll show you my setup in a minute, but I wanted to come out and try this freeze dried meal. Um, some of you might know I'm always eating like the same thing. Cause I do, I have a favorite. It's uh, by Peak Refuel and it's the chicken Alfredo. It's just like my favorite. It tastes so good and I like it in the Mountain House brand too. So I'm trying to, you know, get out of the box a little bit, maybe try some new meals. I did try that um, Backpackers Pantry Mango Sticky Rice and uh, I didn't like it at all, uh, which I'm surprised because I like mango, but uh, I, I didn't like it at all. But so today, um, a fellow YouTuber and uh, camper, Ho Jangle, she sent... Um, she makes her own freeze-dried meals. Uh, go check out her channel, Ho Hojangle, if you want to see stealth camping like all the time. That's what she does. Unbelievable stuff. But anyway, she sent me, uh, asked if I was interested in trying one of her dehydrated meals. And I thought that was interesting because, I mean, I, I buy them. I, I, I don't know the first thing about dehydrating my own meals. I don't have a dehydrator. But I thought, you know something, uh, that's, that's really interesting. I'd love to try a homemade dehydrated meal. So she sent me uh, my choice. She offered a couple choices. We have a single serving freeze dried meal. It's chorizo, gravy, and biscuits. Nice packaging too. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that from the glare, but I'll read it to you. This is uh, chorizo, gravy, and biscuits. And there are instructions right on it. It actually says July 8th of 2023. So I'm guessing that's when she packaged it. Remove bag of biscuits. So if that's what I'll do, I'll have to open this, remove the bag of biscuits. It says to add one cup of hot water, stir and reseal. Let's sit for five minutes, open, add the biscuits, stir and enjoy. So I'm, I'm excited to try this. A lot of those biscuit and gravy meals, people love them. I've never tried one. Um, I do have one by Peak Refuel, by the way. <laughs> Not today, no time, but I'm excited to try this. And then she has the ingredients listed. Let's see, we got milk, we have buttermilk biscuits, we have vegetarian chorizo. Huh, didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, flour, butter, black pepper, I love black pepper, and some salt. So we're going to try this and then hold the phone. Has anybody ever seen or heard of anybody making their own freeze-dried ice cream? I'm excited to try this. I'm almost tempted to just go right for it because, you know what, I love my desserts. I love sweet. I love a sweet tooth and this just appeals to me. This is freeze-dried ice cream. Chocolate, chocolate, tr it's chocolate, chocolate chip with strawberry filling. Get out of town that I can't wait. So 
I'll bring you back in a minute, guys. I'm going to get some water boiling. We're going to get right into this meal, and we're going to try it out. I'm, I'm really excited. It doesn't have, you know, making your own meals, you don't, uh, you know, you don't have all the uh, preservatives. You don't have all the chemicals. You can, um, you know, control your own ingredients and what you use. So maybe uh, later on down the road, maybe I'll try doing some dehydrated meals. But for now, I can't wait to try this. So I'll bring you right back. And guys, stay tuned for the end of this video. All right. Um, I'm going to be revealing the winner of the Hot Cocoa Outdoors Camping Quilt Camping Blanket. It's multi-purpose, multi-functional. I've used it as a sleeping bag. I've used it as an underquilt for a hammock. I love this thing. And then we're also, uh, I also have the Kemi Kemimoto heated vest with a battery included. And the battery that, that comes with the vest, you can use it as a cell phone charger. Just charge it up, put in a little USB and you have like a little battery pack. Uh, anyways guys, I'll be right back. So before we get into trying that dehydrated freeze dried meal, just wanted to quickly show you my setup. That's what we do, we like to show our gear. So real quickly before we get into that meal, I'll show you what I got going on behind me. Just thought I'd be lazy today. I'm actually using my Wise Owl ground sheet as a tarp. Just something small, give me a little bit of protection. It is waterproof. So that's what I got going on right there. I'm like, you know what? I don't really feel like busting out the whole tarp. So I just have that strung up across three trees and a stick. All right. And as you saw, we are gonna be trying these awesome freeze-dried meals. We're going to be heating that up on the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. Got some water right there. I'll explain that in a minute. And today we're using the Osprey um, Sport Light 25. That's what I'm using for a tarp, and it's actually a ground sheet. All right, now that we get that all out of the way, now that that's all out of the way, I'm starving. So let's have some lunch. Let's try this out. I'm excited. <laughs> all right, we got some water boiling here. So let's shut that off. Okay. And like I said, it said, remove the bag of biscuits. I opened this up and that's what I did. The bag of biscuits kind of looks like cr croutons right there. So I guess those are the biscuits. And this is what it looks like in its dry form. There is an oxygen absorber in there, so I'll take that out. So that's what that looks like. So we're gonna do it exactly as it says. First off, let me take out the oxygen absorber. And I've already measured out a cup of water in milliliters, and that's 250 or 240 milliliters. So we'll do that. I'm gonna put that in there. All right, we're gonna stir, let's see, stir and reseal. So let's stir that up. Got these bugs. I did bring bug spray, but it's almost time to bust out the thermocell again, my God. All right, is it ever gonna get warm? All right, ever loving God. Oh my God. So straight away, it smells incredible. I mean, it really does smell incredible. All right, so we stirred it up. Looks great. Mm. All right. And reseal. So we're gonna let that sit for five minutes. Then we're gonna open. We're gonna add the bag of biscuits. And I'm gonna see what this tastes like. And like I said, at the end, we're finally going to draw a winner for the camping quilt and the heated vest. I don't know, good luck to everybody who entered. There are 40 entries. I was hoping for more, but it is what it is. 40 people is a lot and can't wait to find out. And also when I send you whoever the winner is, 
when I send you the camping quilt and the um, the uh, vest, I'm also going to include a couple little things that you could maybe use on your outdoor adventures. So there's that. And uh, the next video I got coming up, I'm just blabbing while this is taking its five minutes to do its thing. But the next video coming up is um, I, I went on a camp. It was an alternative way to uh, go camping and I'll explain that to you in the next video. I had a great time and um, you'll let me know if you ever tried this kind of uh, camping. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Some of you have probably heard of it, some of you probably haven't. But all right, we're gonna let this do its thing and I'll be right back guys. I can't wait to try this I've got freeze-dried ice cream I mean that's insane to me I don't even know how how do you even do that can't wait to see what it looks like smells like tastes like <laughs> so it's been five minutes five minutes has gone by so now we're supposed to all right let it sit for five minutes open add the biscuits stir and enjoy so guys the moment of truth we're gonna open that up Smells exactly like chorizo sausage. Right. So we're adding in the biscuit, which, like I said, looks like croutons. Let's try one. Dry bread. All right. All right. We added that all in. Stir it up. See what happens. <laughs> God, this, this really smells good. I hope it tastes as good as it smells. I mean, I'm gonna give my honest opinion. If I don't like it, I mean, it, that doesn't mean anything against the person who made it. It just means my taste buds, you know? But we'll see what happens. All right, that looks pretty much stirred up. So let me see if I can, huh, tongue tied. Let me see if I can show you what this looks like. I don't know if you can see that in there. Looks pretty good, right? Drum roll, please. All right, let's just try it out. All right, nice, healthy spoonful right there you can see the pepper in it look at that why am i so nervous it's just food for crying out loud <laughs> all right oh my god first flavors insane and I mean insanely good like right away I got the taste of like you know the chorizo sausage and then I can taste the pepper right away she must have put it oh there's a bug in my ear or something <laughs> she must have put some pepper a lot of pepper in it I love it it's so good Robin, thank you so much. This is absolutely incredible. If, if this is tasting like this, I can only imagine what freeze-dried ice cream tastes like. I'm like so excited. I'm like a kid in a candy store and I got the best lunch ever and the best surrounding. Mm. They must be doing some woodwork or chopping down some wood. Not too far, I'm sure you could probably hear the machinery. Oh my god, guys, this is so good. I love this. This is right up there with, if not better than, yep, I said it, if not better than 
peak refuels my favorite happen my favorite meal of the chicken alfredo mm, mm, mm. this right here blows it out of the park oh or should i say hits it out of the park oh this is so good guys i'll bring it back in a little bit I'm basically going to wolf this down. No one needs to see any of that. And I'll bring it back when we try that freeze-dried ice cream. What's your favorite dehydrated meal? If you're uh, someone who takes advantage of, this, of these uh, meals when you're like backpacking, when you want to, um, you know, not be doing any crazy cooking out in the woods, what's your favorite? This right here is the best I've ever tried. It's awesome. Mm. I'll be back, guys. So good. So good. my god that was so good it was so spicy and i mean like a peppery spicy but i loved it that's that's kind of how i like it I, I love pepper i like spicy foods so that was awesome and i can't wait now i can't wait now now i can't wait to try this freeze-dried ice cream this is chocolate chocolate trip the chocolate trip we're going on a chocolate trip guys yeah we're gonna trip out on some chocolate death by chocolate over here chocolate chocolate chip with strawberry filling now there's no instructions on this and it's a freeze-dried ice cream so i can't imagine i'd be adding a liquid to it or anything so we're just gonna open it and eat it i mean <laughs> i'm kind of excited to see you know how this works what it looks like all of that so let's smell it <clears throat> I don't smell chocolate, I smell strawberry. Holy crap, look at this. <laughs> look at this, guys. Do you see that at all? Kind of looks like, look at this, like a strawberry. There, if I back it up, maybe you can see it. It's like a pink strawberry frosting on a chocolate cookie. And it, it does feel dry, very dry and dehydrated. And there's two of them in here see here's the other one maybe it's supposed to go on top of each other like that I'm guessing that's how it's supposed to go because that's how it looks okay let's let's try this out <laughs> all right freeze-dried ice cream I'm just gonna go for the part that has like all the strawberry and the cookie on that It tastes like candy. It tastes like, um, oh my God. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, I'm getting the chocolate chip cookie. Mmm. Try some of the strawberry just on its own. I'm going to scrape some of it off. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey guys. <laughs> My camera got so excited in filming me eating this, it just fell over. But uh, this is this is good. Robin, this is really good. This is awesome. What do I like better? Do I like the chorizo or do I like this better? I like the meal better, but this is so good. This is a perfect treat. 
to something spicy like that that's just kind of gives your mouth a nice sweet flavor you got a little bit of the chocolate you got a, bit, a little bit of the um the strawberry flavor get a good crunch mm. huh. pretty sweet literally oh my god it is crunchy as hell. All right. Well, going to finish up these cookies and we're going to get to that giveaway. Robin, thank you. This has been a pleasure. Killer food. Very talented. So, guys, let me know what your favorite dehydrated meal is. And have you ever attempted to do your own freeze-dried uh, meals or anything? Let me know down below. Be right back. Hmm. Can you believe we're finally getting to this giveaway? I talked about this like all winter. Should have given it away in the winter. Who gives away a heated vest in like the summertime, springtime coming into summertime? I do, because that's how we roll here. <laughs> you know, life gets in the way, work obligations get in the way, things happen, blah, blah, blah. So I've had 40 entries, all right? And I'm just gonna read you the names in no specific order, and then we're just gonna get right into picking a winner. And um, I'm doing things a little bit differently. Usually I write everybody's name down and I'll huck it in a stuff sack and pull it out. Well, this is gonna be another way to do it that's a little different, a little fun, and 100% fair, and you'll see me do it. So here we go. So here's all the people that entered, and I just wanted to say thank you. There will be some upcoming giveaways again. Um, and I don't know, you know, we'll see when I'm gonna be doing that. Probably like in about a month and a half, I'll uh, have another outdoor giveaway and uh, wait to see what that is. <laughs> But anyways, we got Tress Ann R.N. Hey, we got uh, Scary Not Mary. I, just, I love the names. All right, just listen to some of these names. <laughs> we got The Nature Man Adventures, American Explorer, Kim Glass, Yankee Clipper, Shit Soils. <laughs> Kid you not, that's the name of the channel. We have Sophia Rose, Haunted Ramblings, Chanel Tompkins, Jeff Collier, Jazz O'Graski, Lisa Avila, or Avila, and if I botch anybody's names, I apologize. We have Jennifer Krause, we have Reef169, John Prue, Kalakai805, Sue Mitchell, Random Person, yep, that's that's their name, Random Person, Biker Forever and SC, Thomas Liptrot, Shehar, Jeremy Talbert, Diggin' Diggin' It, Sophia Rose, Clint Walls, hey Clint, how you doing? It's been a while. Hope all is well. Mr. Jenks 2024, I am Kai Frost, Sean Jesperson, Dennis Coombs, Peter Lynch, Bernie 3911, Yak Fishing 4912, Ernest Rottenberg, The Virginia Bushcrafter, another great channel, The Blind Photographer, Alice, we have Laurie Gabrielson, Upper Guy, and a good day for decay. I just love that channel name. I say it all the time. Good day for decay. It's always a good day for decay. So we had 40 entries. And what I did with all these entries, and I'll show you in a minute, I have each one with a number corresponding next to your name. See that? If you want to pause it and read it just to know that I'm being fair, feel free to do that. But everybody's name has a corresponding number. That and today, today we're gonna spin the wheel. That's what this is right here. This is just a free little app that you can just it's I don't even know what it's called random wheel generator. Anyways, so what I did was I took the f numbers one through 40. I don't know if you can see that one through 40, and we're just gonna spin the wheel and see who wins. So drum roll, please. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to spin it. 
know you guys can see that. Looks like 38 is the number. Let's see who number 38 is on the list. 38, all right. So number 38 right here is Laurie Gabrielson. Laurie, Laurie Gabrielson. You're the winner of the hot cocoa camping quilt and the heated vest along with the battery. Congratulations, Laurie. And how I'm gonna notify you is on your original entry under my video, I'm gonna let you know you won, all right? So I'm gonna let you know. I want you to contact me in an email. My email is listed in my uh, about or description, whatever. I'll give you my email. I'll put my email uh, right under your comment and let you know. Get in touch with me. Give me a good address that I can send this out to you and I will get this out to you ASAP. Um, I'm going to give you 30 days. I'm going to give you 30 days to get back in touch with me. If nobody, if you don't get in touch with me within 30 days, I'm just going to automatically generate and pick another window, window, pick another winner and let them know that they won. But Laurie, congratulations. You're the winner. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. This was just a way to get out and try. Um, fellow YouTubers, um, freeze dried meal. It was excellent. I loved it got me away from like the usual things and uh it was awesome and i thought it was, this would be a fun way to actually announce the winner of the giveaway so laurie gabrielson congratulations you're the winner guys i appreciate you guys coming along guys 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 i know i always say that friends i appreciate you friends coming along and uh that's about it we've got some more campouts coming up uh wild camps stealth camps maybe some more scary abandoned camps and um the next video is a camping video so stay tuned for that and uh, let me know how you feel about that and uh, if you've ever done that type of camping but until then guys i will see you on the next one all right see you later have a great week bye also might want to show you what's going to come <laughs> i'm so after the fact but this is the blanket and this is the vest and the battery is tucked inside the vest so there you go it was only opened for demonstration purposes when i checked it out that one day all right i'm really leaving <laughs> bye